draw the true honor So let's get it, yeah, see what we can uncover Hello everyone and welcome back to another Persona 4 Golden. <clears throat> Seems like the cat is worn himself out right now. It's good. He'll stop running around now. <clears throat> Alright, today we are on 6-2 evening, which we spend time with Nanako here. But just spend time. <clears throat> it's raining. Yes? Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Yay! You you spend a precious moment with Nanako. Yay! Precious moment! Who the hell is that woman on the screen? Weird. Are those woolly mammoths on top of the TV? No clue. <clears throat> Six three. Oh. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. Ah, we might be getting close to Kanji's time being up now. This took another this took two whole parts to completely elapse through. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, this does look weird going from Avita to this shit though. Oh well. Go into town. <clears throat> Go in here this time. Oh no, it's not here. My bad. I read that wrong. Uh Oh, you are avid reader. Oh, so this means this won't pop up until we get this to done. <clears throat> oh well. All right, that looks good. Okay, yeah. Since it is like a rainy day, there's nothing else we can do. So might as well finish it up. The shrine... This is the shrine's main building. You made sure there was no one around and called for the fox. Huh? These are the type of days you usually call them on anyway, when you have nothing else to do. The fox brought you the Emma with the wish that you fulfilled. It, it's probably worried about the outcome. You told the fox that you granted the wish written on the Emma. How? The fox is a zuber into. The fox looks at the offertory box. I seems pleased. If the root, if the. Sh if rumors of the shrine's benevolence spread, people, more people may come to make offerings. Hell! You can sense the fox's gratitude. Alright. <clears throat> the fox social link has reached level 4. Your power to create personas of the hermit arcana has grown. Since your relationship with the fox has grown stronger, it'll give you a discount on the services inside the TV. Yay! Discount! 
It's getting late. You decided to go home. Nothing else we could do here for now. Which detective? You, cause you decided to continue reading The Witch Detective, a plottingly written romantic comedy about a girl in her first day of school in a new town. Vampires are involved. Me still sounds like Twilight. The contents of this book was almost physically painful for you to read. Yeah, that is Twilight, definitely. You read your book as the rain spatters against the window. Your understanding has increased. Yay! Understanding went up. It doesn't say that it's increased. It doesn't say that it changes, though, so I guess this just is what happens when I go ahead on some things. There's still some pages of the witch detective left. You decide to save them for next time. It's gonna be rainy. It's gonna be sunny after this. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. Yeah. <clears throat> Usually that means that we're close. Classes have ended for today. We might be at the end for waiting for Kanji, though. Again, I'm pressing the wrong fucking button. I don't know why I keep pressing R1, though. Maybe it was the Persona 5. Alright. Sorry. This is the shrine's main building. What will you do? Accept. Make sure there's no one around and called for the fox. Here it is. The fox brought you an Emma with a wish written on it. It's in large, uneven letters, probably by a child. P God, please give me some friends. Yoshitaka. It seems the fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the Emma on its behalf. Could it be thinking that if the wishes are fulfilled, then more money will be put into the offertory box? If you fulfill the wish on the Emma, your relationship with the fox may grow stronger. Accept the request? Yes. Yep! The fox seems happy. Of course he's gonna be happy. I'm gonna do something for him. <clears throat> which, will result, which will result in more money for him. I have no idea why it says what it says here, but I'll do it anyway. Unless there calls for some altercations because I don't have anything, that's pretty much it. I need to obey this by the T closely. S Central Shopping District. Chinese diner Aya. You accepted the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. Uh, you still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect that your bowl is the portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. In order to understand this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. All these rainy day... All these... Sorry, all these rainy... I was about to say all these rainy day traits. Okay. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You're unable to finish your meal in your current state. Ouch. You tried your best to finish the rainy bowl... The rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. That's a long name, I swear. And your personality has grown tremendously. Okay, we got what we needed. 
Ah, yeah. Too bad, mister. That'd be 3,000 yen. Come back soon. Thank you. Thank you for your continued patronage. It makes my daughter happy, too. I heard that you're popular at school. You certainly seem like a fine young man. My daughter just went out on a delivery. When she comes back, I'll tell her you drop by. Me. Are you sure? Because every time I come here, it seems like your daughter is just out. Are you sure she's real, dude? Oh, well. <clears throat> and now the weather... The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Seems the fog will set in tonight. Yep, it's our time. It's time for to see if we saved truly saved Kanji or not. It's weird, but we finally hit the storyline again. All right, let's watch the Midnight Channel again. Like we did last time with Yukiko. It's midnight. Psh. There we go. The fog has set in. Psh. Yes. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Kanji has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. Yay. We did it again. Meanwhile, at the fog shrouded shoppy district. Again? You have the day off from school today. All you could do now, for now, is wait for Kanji to recover. Random. You realize that you haven't bought anything from Home Shopping Program this week. Maybe you should watch it. Watch the shoppy program. Hear the infectious cheery song. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tanaka's amazing commodities. Grant of your desires. This is Tanaka's amazing commodities. The mail order television program being broadcast live to you. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now, let's introduce the products available for these three days. It's Jinji Fudoshi. Tie, tie them tight to boost your vitality. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness. I'll add Slimming Food times two to your... Jinji Fudoshi, all for the low price of only 11,800 yen. We got another fantastic product for on sale today. Inaba Trout times one. A fresh fish combo. On top of that, I'll add Amber Sima times two to your Inaba Trout for only 2,980 yen. These products are so popular, we can only allow one order per customer. What would you like to purchase today? I have a lot of money. Alright. <coughs> wow, we sold through our entire stock. Thank you so much for your participation in today's show. Today's sale is over, but you'll get another chance for three days starting next Sunday. See you next time on this channel. All right, we're done. <clears throat> All right, go out until evening, yes.
There's a lot of things in our thing today. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy the kitty. <clears throat> People are around out here today. That's pretty cool. It's funny how we have to wait till the exact next day because that was on a Saturday. Oh, hey! I lost my butt catching net. I was trying to see if I could catch them with my bare hands, but I can't. Hmm, so weird. I know I lost it around the shrine. Maybe someone picked it up. Do you know anything about it? Yeah, shrine, buck edgy kid, butterfly net part one. <clears throat> Apparently that's all we could do right now. I don't think it's around here. Yeah, I don't remember how exactly this pans out. No, well, it doesn't say they do anything else, so... There have been a lot of young single mothers coming to Inaba from the city. Did you know? Maybe you didn't. Dojima-san never showed you around the neighborhood, did he? A lot of people have been moving in lately, but they're not all people I'd want to associate with. They don't care about their new families. I guess everything I've heard about second wives is true. Quit gossiping about some other people? Or no. Quit gossiping about some other people. Have some manners. Ah, but everyone knows already, don't they? Hey, youngster, did you catch that thing on the TV? Kids these days, sheesh. Uh, I'll bet the one who went on the rampage was probably Kanji, to Kanji from Tatsumiya. Simply deplorable. He used to be such a kind boy when he was a child. He doesn't show any sense of topic. What will you do? Stay and listen. <sighs> All this worrying about the town really tires me out. Uh, at times like this, a sauna would be great. It would be nice. Yeah, saunas are great. But it's no good if you can't get coal. The problem is, I can't get my hands on any. Aren't there any young people who will bring coal to an old man? <sighs> the old man begins looking around furtively. Furtively? I don't know. I understand your concerns. Oh, there are a lot of worthless young punks out there, but you, boy, you're different. You can look forward to getting me, getting a reward when you bring coal to me. Acquire coal. Um. What? I don't have any money. I don't want your money. You're not here for anything else then, right? I don't have any friends, so nobody ever wants to talk to me. The boy seems sad. He does. He, he said he doesn't have any friends. Perhaps he's the one who wrote the Emma request that the fox showed you. Everybody talks about things I don't really know. Right now, they're all collecting stickers. I have a sticker too, but they all said that everyone has that one. If I had a rare sticker, I bet they'd become my friends. The boy wants a rare sticker so he can make friends. Huh? Mister, is that a sticker? The boy noticed the prize sticker. Granter of your desires? If this sticker could do that, then I'm sure to make friends. Mister, can I- can you give me that sticker? Um, sure. Yay, thank you! I'm sure you- I'm sure to have lots of friends now. The boy ran off cheerfully. Will he make lots of friends? You should ask him another time. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Let's head this way. It's been very humid. It's absolutely hard when you're older. And my daughter's family is getting nosy again. 
chattering on about how I shouldn't be pushing myself. They look at me with their apologetic faces and say things like, Isn't it inconvenient for you at your age? I know I don't have too many years left, but I don't want any everybody's pity. Gee, such silly things to worry about. By the way, I have a small favor to ask you if that's all if that's alright. You do you come across very many keys? To be honest, I'd like for you to search for one. An old key at that. But please, don't ask why I need it. There's just something I need to open. Ask things? Oh yes, how about something you can never buy with money? I'll look for it. R really? Well, I know you're not just gonna stumble on a key all of a sudden, but... I'm sorry if it... I'm sorry, it bothers me. I can't help it. I'll leave it to you. Well, we are looking for an old key now. Cold and an old key. Okay, come on. Yo, Yukun! It feels kind of weird meaning on our day off. Then you want to train? You decided to go eat with Chie after training. Central Shopping District, Chinese Diaria. We go, we go here a lot. Hmm, <laughs> the meat and rice just flow through my veins. <laughs> I'll just be like Super Saiyan 4 Goku. You seem happy. That's on that one weird game that had all these weird voices. No one talks about that one for obvious reasons. On the happiness scale, it's up there with watching action movies. Chie drifts into a blissful reverie. I need to work hard and pump myself up, or else I can't pull us out of the jam, right? Especially Yukiko. I need to be able to protect her. Sad face. I hope she's not straining herself. Makes you worry, huh? I'll just say it's just to make her happy. Thanks. That's what makes you the leader. I'll make myself stronger for you to go too. So keep it up, leader. I know me and Yosuke joke around with you a lot, but we're all counting on you. <laughs> there we go. Rank number five. The Chie's social rank has reached level five. Social rank? Rank? I tried to combine rank and link together. Okay, me. All this talking is making me hungry. Excuse me, another fried rice with meat, please. How about you? You talked to Chie for a while. You, you walked home partway with Chie. <laughs> Welcome back. This good thing Dojo was not here today. I mean, I guess I got the night things now, and he let me out. Regardless. Oh, hey! <laughs> Yukiko Random I don't remember these guys ever, ever being out at night Apparently we were supposed to wait till night Oh, I see Oh, that's weird Why is she wearing white? Let's see what else it says Let's see, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
I came to offer my food to celebrate my child's seventh birthday. However, I'm so hungry I can't even walk. It is truly shameful. Do you have any red goldfish you could spare? Oh, by the way, there is a strange net on the rooftop. Do you know about it? I see. Well, please take this. Random? She's kind of weird just being here around at night for no reason other than just to be here. Well, that's what we came for. We weren't planning on giving her any red goldfish. <clears throat> so random, though. Hmm? What a coincidence. What are you doing out so late? It's dangerous, you know. Go home. Dachi seems to be on his way home from work. Since you have Gur, persona of the gesture, you yeah, yeah, yeah. You must have a lot of time on your hands. Dojima son will be on your ass, you know. Sure, sure. Shuppy District, Sozai Daigaku. I knew it. Stores out here close too soon. I got off work early, so I thought I'd make something, but then I got lazy. What should I do? I have tons of nimono at home. Why, Taro-chan? How was work? Are you still working hard? Oh, uh, hi. Yeah, I just got off. Have you had dinner yet? You're young. You need to eat up. Would you like to come to my house? I'm making your favorite nimono. Oh, uh, today I got a... <laughs> That's right, I promised this kid I'd eat dinner with him. He's my boss's nephew, so I can't say no. <laughs> Maybe next time. Oh, that's too bad. Well, next time then. Good night. She really sucks away my will to live. Can you imagine how awkward dinner would be? Just me and her? I don't really- I don't really like her nimono anyway. The lotus root is too tough. Oh, uh, sorry for using you like that. You were a big help. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just come over for real? At dojima sons? Well, isn't that a generous offer? I thought you was looking at you in surprise. But Dojima-san's still at work, right? Does that mean it'll be just us? Isn't that weird? I'm a good cook. You're seriously inviting me over? You don't think it'd be awkward? Adachi's looking at you like you're a rare breed. Well, I am interested to see what you're like as a cook. When I was in high school, I never gave cooking a single thought. What kind of student were you? I just studied and studied. It was a pretty good school where your grades really mattered. I don't mind, though. You get back at, as much as you put in. Everyone knows that. My parents didn't care what else I did as long as my grades were good, too. But that works out when you're a student. So you don't enjoy yourself now? I don't know. Grown-ups have a lot on their plates. Adachi gives a tired smile. That didn't look like a smile, bro. But I guess lately things have been fun. What, because of the murders? It's kind of a weird way to put it, buddy. It's nice to know there's something I'm good at. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Okay then, buddy. Now go run and get some more coffee. Just <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, we were talking about dinner. Sorry, not today. Maybe next time. I'll just stop by my someplace on my way back. You make sure to hurry home. You probably went to Dachi and went home. 
Yay! <clears throat> Uh, hi there. <laughs> Where did the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. <laughs> They're all laughing. Uh, thanks a bunch. Though I don't really remember what happened. There are some things we'd like to talk- we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who's the boy you met with? <gasps> huh? I, I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like if anything different happened lately. I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy? I, uh... I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I don't really like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning it around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. <sighs> How are you feeling now, though? I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get right down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family runs a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah. You already knew that. My parents are kind of... They say stuff like dyes are one with the universe and cloth is alive. That's the kind of house I grew up in, so I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. But the second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make, girls make fun of me. The people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what's with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, it must look really lame right now. Hey, you're pretty cool, buddy. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. Nah, I doubt it. <laughs> I never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow, I'm surprised. You're a good kid. D don't call me a good kid! <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You could take it. Everyone laughs. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were gonna take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was gonna sleep it off in my room. Wait, I think someone came. Uh, to your house? Who was it? Well, uh, it's just a feeling I had. I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird dark entrance thing. When I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. A dark entrance? Could it have been a TV? Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. I told them exactly what I told you, and they all looked at me like I was crazy. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Hmm, well, something like that. Anything I could do to help? If there's some bastard out there who's put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. 
Seriously? Awesome. You make a great addition to the team. What do you say, leader? Of course he can. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. I'll do my best. Kanji Tatsumi joined your group. Yay. The investigation team's social link has reached level four. Yeah. Well, if we're going to welcome aboard a new member, should we take him to our special headquarters? We're still calling it that? What's that? Come on, let's go. Special headquarters? Why are we calling it that? He's eating. Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Sure, I was listening. Close your mouth. Ooh. So, uh... Wait, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, is he beating them to death with it? No, they weren't being beaten with the TV. Were you listening at all? Don't worry, he'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. The show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I'm wondering... I keep wondering who will show up next. I knew before it came on that he'd be on the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who's in, who used to be in a biker gang? Who the hell did you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you, dipshits? <laughs> Boring. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how could they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers in a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the, victi that all the victims are female. When was the other... Th what was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. Uh, how about that? Uh, I don't think it holds up. Hmm. Think we're wrong about this one too? I don't know. The announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. We haven't come up with a reason yet why the killer would target their children. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I've got something big. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out he was snooping ar around about senpais and my disappearance, so I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? He looks so happy, though. <laughs> you took the paper for kanji. There are several lists. Which one do you read out loud? We have to read all of them, though. Enka album chart. It's the Enka album chart for May. Mitsuzu Hiraki's new album is number one. I hear her album sales have gone up since the incident. If she knows about it and she's using it to sell her songs, that's pretty sketchy. She has an alibi, though. I don't think this involves her. Let's move on. Female announcer rankings. It's a ranking of female announcer popularity for various local stations in March. Mayumi Yamano is around the lower middle of the list. Does this mean she wasn't that well known until the incident? It's just this guy's personal rankings. Nothing important. What does the next one say? Uh, list of TV programs. Mayumi Yamano, 411. Sakakunishi, 413. 
what are these dates? April 11th. Uh, oh, the day. Oh, they found the first body on the day school started. So that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki's body was found. That was the 15th. So then, what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi, April 13th? The day she was on TV, buddy. Yeah, I see. There's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah, I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part, Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV too? <laughs> oh, she was on! I remember now! That was when the affair hit the news! <laughs> hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get inter get interviewed too? When did that interview air? I... I think it when I was absent from school, um... It was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? I remember. I went shopping that day, so April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and... The date. Just tell us the date. Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true, then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So, you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. It can't be a coincidence. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe being on TV... Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Ugh, damn it, now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Dude. Why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that kanji might be next was right on the nose. I know, we were so close! Huh? You knew it beforehand? Before it happened? Damn, I wish you guys had come a little earlier then. <laughs> well, if you if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. And it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyway, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. That reminds me, the school's campouts next week. I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun. Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Oh, shut it, Shikamaru. Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're going Dutch in the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like cup ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it! What?!
Hmm. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear, though. Hey, why is it a bear? Don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering, too. It's kind of cute. M mind if I pet you? Not touching allowed, mister! What? Hey, don't give me a lip, bear! Uh, by the way, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? Th that's some... What was it like for Senpai? Ugh! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you so hard. M my jaw. I'll be more gentle next time. More... Gentle? <laughs> what a pair of dimwits. Oh, yeah! Here's a present from... Here's a present for me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Uh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. How are you put them on? Uh-huh. Sh sure. But hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? <laughs> it looks perfect on you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, dude, it looks great on you! A normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smartass. Why are you taking it out on me? Give me that. Kaji grabbed the other pair of glasses that Teddy was holding. <laughs> you took my spare. Pair. Kanji, you must really like those! <laughs> oh, my sides! Damn it! Throws it. This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Damn it! I'll get you guys through this someday! <laughs> Yeah. He grabbed the other pair that didn't have the lenses. That was funny. No, don't paw the phone, cat. So you're home. Uh oh. Dojima's here. Dojima is freaking here now. Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna read the witch detective again. The completely cringed off version of Twilight. Yep, it's still physically painful to read. Ooh, the instant noodles really hit the spot. You know, the rainy season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the Midnight Channel. <laughs> they just realized that. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought we were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Why are you so excited about that? That's right. It's the first time for you, too. You realize the only purpose of the school camp is to develop a love for our for one's hometown and young people or develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Yeah, they tell us that up front. So, well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. P pick up trash? Develop a love, my ass. That's slave labor. Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. 
The four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night too? You wish! Guys and girls sleep in different tents! I'm warning you, if you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. Ugh, this gets worse and worse. I thought it was gonna be fun. It's only for one night, and we have to disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Well, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There was always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river. Question marks. Alright, I think this is a good enough place to put a pause to this for now. So until next time, everybody, have a very raspberry day. Oh shit, he's back.